SAP Business Objects Dashboards, formerly known as Excelsius, has introduced several new features in the 4.0 release, enhancing your ability to share your business intelligence data through high-impact dynamic dashboards, by making performance improvements and supporting direct connections to the SAP Business Objects Business Intelligence Platform. In this tutorial, you will review the new features in this release of dashboards. Note that this tutorial is based on SAP Business Objects Dashboards 4.0, Build 14.0.0.760. To navigate, use the viewer controls. Two new servers have been introduced to support better scalability and performance for dashboards based on queries against the relational universe. The Dashboard Design Cache server provides data caching and sharing while the Dashboard Design Processing Server manages query processing requests. Both servers are integrated into standard BI platform services including auditing and monitoring, and can be administered through the Central Management Console. You can now connect your dashboard directly to a universe using the new Query Panel. Using the same interface as you would use to create a query in Web Intelligence or Crystal Reports, you can select Relational Universe Objects, Dimensions, and measures, apply sorts, query filters, and prompts, and preview your data. For more details, refer to the Connect to a Universe using the Query Browser tutorial. The Query Browser panel has been added to enable you to manage your universe queries. It displays a summary of the result objects, filters, and prompts for each query, and provides quick access to tools for creating, editing, deleting, and refreshing queries. For more details, refer to the Connect to a Universe using the Query Browser, bind a query to the embedded spreadsheet, and manage query prompts tutorials. You can bind the data from a query directly to components in your dashboard, without first having to insert the values into the embedded spreadsheet. Note that when data is bound directly to a chart or selector, the component does not display any data in design mode. You must preview or publish the dashboard to view the data. For more details, refer to the Bind a Query Directly to a Component tutorial. Additional components have been added to support universe connectivity. The Query Refresh button component allows users to refresh the data in the dashboard on demand. The Query Prompt Selector component enables users to choose a single value or multiple values, depending on the operator used in the query and the structure of the underlying data. Note that when you drag a prompt from the Query Browser panel to the canvas, a Query Prompt Selector is automatically added to the dashboard. You can also configure the component manually. For more details, refer to the Manage Query Prompts tutorial. You can now apply dynamic regional date, time, number, and currency formats to your components, rather than choosing a static format. When the dashboard displays for each user, Data that uses these dynamic formatting types is automatically rendered to represent the preferences for the user's preferred viewing locale. For more details, refer to the localized date, number, and currency formats tutorial. Most of the text in the components in your dashboards can now be translated to other languages using the Translation Manager. At design time, you can enable translation for component text properties. You can also define other elements as translatable, such as ranges of data in your embedded spreadsheet. When the dashboard is published to the BI platform, the translation workflow is initiated. Once experts have translated the text, the translations are published to the platform to create localized versions of the dashboard. For more details, refer to the Defined Translation Settings tutorial. When you publish a dashboard to the BI platform, both the design document, XLF, and the flash rendering of the completed dashboard, SWF, are published as a single object. You can apply object-level security to this new object type. You can also specify preferred server groups for query caching and processing, if the dashboard is based on a universe. In the Lifecycle Management Console, the new dashboard's object enables you to check for relationships with universe queries dependencies on quas and universe objects in quas connections, and dependencies on crystal reports, web intelligence documents, and universe objects in live office connections. These dependent objects can then be promoted together. 
you have successfully reviewed the new features in SAP Business Objects Dashboards 4.0. This is the end of the tutorial.